when you get it, like I said, like I, I don't want it to seem like it's a money thing and people bitter about that. But when you talk stuff like you in a mag for half a billies and things like that, and you know you was dissolving the Rockefeller situation, and then you ain't even give people the courtesy to make the phone call yourself and explain, like, if, if it was me, it's me talking to my homies, like, yo, I'm somewhere else. I can't do this music thing right now. Like, I ain't there with it. Like, when I go on tours and stuff, y'all can still rock with me when go on tours, and I can get y'all some bread like that. Or I could do this for y'all to help y'all, you know, do whatever. But I can't do that. What, I know I know they set you up kind of nice, though. You had the, 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 the label. You had the clothing line. You was in the movies. I mean, you got to look at it like this. The label, the clothing line, and the movies all came after the rumors. When you heard Rockefeller was breaking up and a breakup was there and the tension and Dame and Jay was going at it. That's when that came about. The movie. See, I'm, I'm going to go down and get a couple of more to go. I ain't gonna just go to 615, right? Yeah, JC caught a pop record, Amy. But them street dudes who stayed loyal and held on to it, they held on to it too because he had a real nigga like me behind him that would have did anything at that time for my man, no matter who it was. No matter who it was, this is real rap. I'm talking to you, and, you, and, and I hope you understand this. Yeah, but then, history, when you dissolve a company, even when you dissolve a company, your company give you a severance pay. And the severance pay, what I'm not even looking for a monetary gift. I'm saying you in a position to put me in a position to get my own money. Then you make lines like I took them to fish and they want me to cook a cook, cook a, a dish for them. All of this this for them or they got a dish for him. I ain't asked you to cook nothing for me or teach me how to fish. Because I came to the job with my own rod, my own hooks, and my own lines. All I ask for you to do is point to the lake and every now and then you could have shared the piece of bait, dog. I would have got my own fish. Because if you give me a fish, I'm going to eat for today. But if you teach me how to fish, I'm going to eat forever. And then I'm going to teach my children how to fish. I know, I know they set you up kind of nice, though. You had the, 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 the label, you had the clothing line, you was in the movies. I know, I know they set you up kind of nice, though. You had the, 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 the label, you had the clothing line, you was in the movies. I'm I love you so, but while I love you, I never know. This is Jay Z's response to the backstabbing Beanie Siegel. Picture, if you will, that the throne is burning, Rome was burning, and I'm sitting in the corner all alone burning. Why does it always end up like this? Something that we don't determine. Saying people that I fought for, that I fight for, that I ride for, that I live for, that I die for, be the same reason that these niggas is alive for. And they want me dead But I'm so sorry but I just can't die for you But I can make them put their hands in the sky for you We waiting for you Fireworks like July 4th Get fly more, get high for Cry boy, why for When the grief is over, the beef is over I'll be fly when East is over I try to teach niggas how to be kings And all they wanted was to be soldiers So the love is gone to the Blood is drawn, so we no longer wear the same uniform. Fuck you squares, the circle got smaller, the castle got bigger, the walls got taller than the truth be told. After all what I said, niggas still got love for you. Ooh, I love you so. But while I love you, I never know. Ooh, I 
love you so. Showed love to niggas, you ripped my heart. You ripped out my heart and stepped on it. I picked up the pieces before you swept on it. God damn, this shit leaves a message on it. Shit feeling like death, don't it? Charge it to the game, whatever's left on it. I spend a minute, maybe less on it. Five pelican fly, turn the jets on it. But first, I shall digress on it. Was it not good, King? Maybe too much of a good thing, huh? Didn't I spoil you? Beanie, me of the money, what you loyal to, huh? I gave you loyalty, made you royalty, and royalty took care of these niggas' lawyers' fees, and this how niggas rewarded me. Ooh, I love you so, but why I love you, I never know. Ooh, I love you so. But while I love you, I never know. Bussin' at me, bu bu bussin' at me. But I'm bulletproof, bitch, you can't get nothing past me. Got body armor, a nigga better watch the throne. And I'm bussin' back, so niggas in a glass house should not throw stones. What do you do when the love turns to hate? Gotta separate from these fucking fakes. Sees he didn't see it, so he ceased to exist. So the nigga that kill killed him had keys to his shit. And my, my brother's keeper. Only if a nigga don't creep up, got a pistol under my pillow. I never been a deep sleeper, p -p -p paranoia. Uh, Cause the same nigga that said he'll blast for you is now blasting for you. That's an assassin for you. If Beanie got a shot, he'll shoot. Please, Lord, forgive Beanie for niggas not know what they do. Ooh. Man, oh man, what do we have here? Now let's just rewind. This is the raw truth about the Beanie Siegel and him dissing Meek Mill. All right now, what I have to do is always um, go back. Um, a wise man once said, <laughs> "You go back in history to determine." You know what's going to happen in the future because um people's patterns are usually the same especially when you know when they're in their 40s it's really not that's what that person is so now let's imagine a situation beanie siegel you know he's uh under jay-z jay-z's pro protege jay-z set him up nice you know um in, in a clip you can go back and listen. He paid over a half a million dollars in lawyer fees. So he was basically a millionaire. You know what I mean? Um, and this goes back to the line where Jay-Z said, you know, um, was not good king. Was it too much of a good thing? Didn't I spoil you? you? Nigga, me on the money what you loyal to. You know what I mean? It's like, he showed you the ins and outs of the game. You was on stage with him. You got to be around him. You know what I mean? And it's like, if me and a nigga, if I'm with a cat, and he made me a millionaire, right? I apologize, family. I did have a call there, but you were showed the ins and outs, Beans. You were made a millionaire. And after Rockefeller dissolved when they split the company up, you was given a clothing line and a sneaker line. So you said in, um, in a clip I played earlier that you didn't even want monetization. You wanted to be showed. You wanted a lake. Well, what the fuck more could he give you? You know the game. You already got the name. You're already beside, you know, uh, one of the biggest uh, moguls in rap history. You already got street cred, right? All the shit you say Meek ain't got. You already got hot lyrics. You got business. But see... It's the pot calling the kettle black. Now, you may have had some, you know, um, great advice for Meek. You know what I mean? But when we look back, you didn't even follow that advice, your own advice for yourself. And that's fine. We all make mistakes. I made mistakes in my 20s. And you know, a lot of a lot of um, black people, brothers in particular, because we're not really showed the right way to do things. So we make them. So I'm not charging that against you. I'm just pointing it out. You know what I mean? So sometimes you gotta let people live, man. And I'm not like, you know, I fuck with Meek Mill. People say, oh yeah, I'm riding Meek. I'm not riding him. I just came, I listened to a lot of his music, you know, through a lot of um tough points in my life. 
You know what I mean? So it might be a slight bias there, but I try to keep it as 100 as possible. You know what I mean? Meek Mill is not the best rapper, and his lyrics can be improved, really. But um, back to the situation, right? So you was given, you know, everything. Everything it is, you know, um, to succeed. But you couldn't leave that street shit alone. And it's like, well, you mentioned a part where Jay, where you was at a court and, and the judge asked, well, are you, would you be responsible for this man? Would you be responsible for the Broad Street bully? And Jay said, no, I don't blame him. You, at this point, you become now a liability you know, you even mentioned that you was doing shit when cameras is around. And I, I feel you, dog. Like, I don't care either, but it's just like, why would you want another man to be responsible for your actions, man? Why? So, if you would diss a man that made you a millionaire, changed your life, took you out of the, the worst parts of South Philly, Remember them days heating up the house with the oven. Remember them days. Remember that life ain't lovers. Remember them days. Oh, remember that? You want EVE classic song? Took you out of the situation. Made you a millionaire. Put you in, you know, again, you did it the hard way. You grinded. Put you in front of the world straight. The Broad Street bully. You was in a movie. But see, if you would do that to a man that gave you the world, he gave you everything. Of course you would do that to me. We didn't really preferably give you anything. Just put you back in the spotlight once again. So me can get three dis diss tracks. But it's your fault why you in this position, Baines. And you now can't, and even Jay, you know, if you go and listen, you know, do your research, family. I can't play it all here. <clears throat> you know, Jay said, you know, uh, why he thinks. Matter of fact, let's hear from Jay real quick, family. Hold on. Yeah, you're in the zone. How did you feel when you first heard what, what Beanie had to say about your relationship? I mean, you know, this, this rap music and uh, competitive by nature, nothing really surprising me anymore. You know, um... But I honestly say that was one that was like that was like a shocker because uh, you know, we when you cut when you from a certain place you cut from a certain cloth and certain things are just off limits, you know. And uh, when you cross that line, then it has it put you in a different box. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that that one was uh, a little surprising, but the uh the, the competitive nature of rap music dictates that that's how it goes more times than not. Yeah. Right. So when it's not expected, it's worse than when you you feel like you know when somebody's throwing subliminals at you. I, I think it came from the same thing. I think it was the same exact thing. I think it came from. Uh, I think everybody run out of ideas. It's just all marketing at this point. I don't even think it's competition anymore. Mm -hmm. I, you know, in the beginning it was competition. It was just like, uh, let's see who's better. Let's go to the square and see who's better. But I don't think it's that. I think it's all just marketing now. Everybody just ran out of ideas. That's just the thing. There you have it. The general, the real general, Jay-Z said it best. Niggas run out of ideas and it becomes about promotion and marketing. You fell off. You lost all endorsements. You lost millions of dollars doing nut shit, catching cases. A lot of the money was, this is your own words, you know, sipping syrup you know i think you had i mean we all go through shit you know we charge that to the game right but you were um you put you put you know you put yourself in this position you know what i mean and you 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 had it all beans you had the world so now it's like all right boom meek brings you out bring you back on stage i forgot forget what contract it was he brings you out shows you love you know, pays homage. All the people say he ain't pay homage. He pay homage to a legend. You're a legend, Beans. We all understand that. So let's that's, that's, go back, you know, the, the chain of events, right? So you, so, okay, boom. Time go past. You, you come in the studio with um 
Meek, you supposedly help O'Malley. Okay, that's whatever. You said that. We haven't heard from O'Malley yet. So we'll just assume that's true right now. So you get in a conversation with Game and Wack, right? The next day, Game was on Breakfast Club. Game says he talked to Beans last night. And he said that he was in the studio helping um, O'Malley write his verse. Why would you tell him that? I don't know. But I think I know why. I think that you, uh, you were throwing rocks at the throne. And when I say the throne, I mean, you know, there's a lot of, oh, Philly got the best spitters, period. I'm going to do a video on that, right? But commercially, at least commercially, Meek Mill is on the throne in Philly. And commercially, at the time, it could change any day now, right? I'm not saying underground. Commercially, he's, at the, he's on the top of the throne. He was throwing rocks at the throne and shit. You thought you could slay some fly shit? Maybe you think, maybe you thought that Wacker Beans wouldn't put it out there, whatever. I mean, Wacker, um, game wouldn't, wouldn't put it out there. But they put it out there. Then a few days later, you actually confirm that. That you then you, that's, you said you wrote for O'Malley. So now you start saying all this shit like to justify, you know, your stance. And you say, well, oh, you know, uh, me and me and game is tight. We got a rapport. So again, you didn't have a rapport with game before you decided to get on that diss track. That didn't stop you from getting on that diss track. Or you was just repping for Philly, right? So now you switch your attention for the game. Said he's going to beat you with a fucking hockey stick. Right? He dissed you. And now you change, you switch over and you and game cool. Okay, y'all squash it, G shit. I'm cool with that, right? Now the beef is with Meek. Alright, his man his man snuffed you. Right? Because of the, the nut shit that you did. And even Jay in the clip said he was kind of surprised. Like, damn, dog. I had this type of nigga next to me the whole time. And you got Oskino saying that, you know, he robbed niggas. So all this brother keeper shit that he's talking about. He wasn't Jay-Z's brother's keeper. You damn sure wasn't state property's brother's keeper when you didn't pay them niggas. Character flaws, beans. It's all, see, this is all. See, I'm, I'm not. See, one thing about, um, I, I read the comments on the um, video that I did. Meek Mill, all the shit that people said about Meek. Nothing has been proven. Now you had Safari come out and say what he said. You know what I mean? If that if that was um true, I don't condone that. That's some nut shit. You know what I mean? And that's whack. If if uh Meek did that, I don't condone that. You know what I mean? But all the shit that you know, your man's hove stabbed him in the back. He didn't pay state property. So this is like, see, I'm trying. I'm showing y'all a pattern. This is a pattern here. So we see the pattern is that look, you stab niggas in the back. You really don't have no loyalty. And Jay Z even said it in his own, his own verse. Nigga, me or the money, what you loyal to? Nigga, me or the money, what you loyal to? Obviously, you looking for a bag, beans, and it's all good. But you can't go around trying to come up off other niggas' names and shit when you already had your name 15, 20 years ago. Why is it that Jay Z went where he went? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, Jay did all the sh all he had to do for you. He made you a millionaire. He showed you the ins and outs of the game. And you had businesses. You know what I mean? But not business, businesses. So you could have went on and you could have became your, um, you could have used your name and done a whole bunch of other things. But you decided to get into legal trouble. You decided to do whatever you was going to do. And now you're in a position because of the decisions that you made, not Meek, not Jay, but the decisions that you made as a man. And you obviously you're humble by that, but you're dead wrong. You know what I'm saying? Coming at Meek the way you did. And I don't know what happened behind the scenes. Maybe you may be justified in your own mind, but from outside looking in, you're dead wrong. And let's talk about this diss track, right? Now people in the comments, like my man, you know, a couple of cats in the comments. I forget the cat name, but peace, bro. Uh, okay, I ain't like the song, man. I gotta be honest. I, even, I I gave it to my boy at work. I was like, "Yo, uh, you heard that new diss track?" He, he ain't even like it. He was like, "Uh, he ain't even listen to the whole thing." It's beyond. It had like five or six hot lines at best. It was a little clever, but nah, it's not on the level of games. It wasn't even level on the level of Meek's diss track. It's damn sure not on the level of none of the classics like Eat There or Hit 'Em Up. No. As that was a fail, like wah wah. 
So maybe try again, man. Try again, Beans. <laughs> but anyway, man, this is my commentary on that. The raw truth about the Meek Mill or the Beanie Siegel diss track to Meek Mill. And I had to go back in the past to show y'all, like, all right. I see, I see, I look at patterns, patterns of perception, logic, you know what I mean, um, you know, formation, I look at all, oh, this is the way my mind works, I look at, you know, how things co um, culminated up to now, and say, okay, this is the type of nigga that he really is, so family, this is it, man, we looking forward to that diss track today, maybe it'll be hotter, maybe we can talk about it some more, but anyway, family, subscribe to In The Black Hip Hop News, Right now, we in the building. It's your brother, oh God, man. Share this video, please. I appreciate y'all. Peace.